Hello everyone and welcome to Magical Mischief Managed. I'm Alicia and here on my channel I find Wizarding World collectibles, everyday items, and experiences to share with you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want even more magical content, head on over to Instagram and follow me at magical.mischief.managed. All right, today I have an awesome alchemy for the skin box for you guys. I'm going to be unboxing the Honey Dukes box. I'm so excited about this because you know there are going to be some amazing products in here because Honey Dukes is like the ultimate theme to have bath and body products for. So I'm really excited about this. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to give you guys the first sneak peek. All right. These boxes are always jam-packed. All right, so not much of a sneak peek here, guys, because look at that packaging, so cute. All right, let me undo this, and we can see what is in here. All right, so it looks like, ooh, I can see some every flavor beans. All right, ooh, okay. So this will be the cheat sheet, so I'm going to set this aside. So the first couple of things on top, we looks like we have a cute little sticker. So a little Honey Dukes sticker. Very nice. We have another one, a, a nice big one. Awesome. This looks like the labels on the items from Honey Dukes. And the next item is a lip balm holder. I used to have a ton of these back in the 90s and I have no idea what ever happened to any of them. But yeah, so this is a, a little lip balm holder and it has a little key ring on it so then you can attach it to your bag. Oh my gosh, the smells coming out of this box right now are insane. All right, so let's dive on in. I'm gonna pull out the Every Flavor Bean Box because of course. All right, so there's a little, got a little squished. This is the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans box so it looks like there's a giant item a giant item in here so let me get this apart I'm gonna need my handy dandy scissors for this all right all right so gumdrop sugar scrub okay it is a giant Honey Dukes Gumdrop Sour Patch Kids Sugar Scrub. Whew, can't say that. All right, so it is a giant sugar scrub, and I can smell it through the packaging. It smells amazing, and sugar scrub is so good for your skin. So we have a giant gumdrop sugar scrub. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna put that back in here. Sorry for all the crinkling. All right, put that down. Let's see, okay, I have some little tubes. It looks like lip balm. So these are Honey Dukes lip balms, I believe. Yes, one is Sherbert Lemon Sugar Lip Balm and one is Bubblegum Lip Color. Ooh. Oh, intriguing. All right, let's look at the Sherbert Lemon Sugar Lip Balm first. Ooh, mmm, that smells so good. And of course, it has the bright yellow lemony color to it. And then the bubblegum lip color. Ooh, okay, so it's kind of like a purpley pink. Hmm. I'm interested to see how this color looks on me. I do like a nice mauve pink lip color. Very intrigued to try these. All right, I believe I have a little pot here and this has a cute little bow on the top and it looks like it is marshmallow strawberry aloe gel stripe body cream. Mm. Okay, so we have uh, marshmallow something strawberry marshmallow or maybe marshmallow is just the texture ooh ooh that smells really good 
So it's this kind of whipped body cream. It smells really good. Really excited to try this one too. I'm gonna smell like a candy shop. All right. We have a little spray. So this says Coconut Ice Summertime Face Refresher. So I I love um, face mists. I have I actually have some spray like face uh, moisturizer if you want to call it that. I find them so nice to do like after work just to like freshen up your face a little bit if you don't have time to like actually wash your face or you have somewhere to go so you can't like wash off all your makeup these are so nice they kind of just give a little moisture to your skin without having to put moisturizer on like over top of your makeup and just gives you a really nice fresh feel so these are really nice to have so coconut ice so i'm guessing it smells like coconut let's see maybe Ooh. Ooh, yes, it has a really nice light coconut scent. So yeah, you I usually just like do a couple sprays and then let it dry. But yeah, it gives you like a really nice like dewy feel to your skin. Nice, love that. I will definitely be sticking that in my bag. All right, let's get all these packing peanuts out of the way. All right, it looks like we have a Fizzing Wisby Cherry Bomb Foot Scrub. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of the package so we can see it properly. Maybe. Oh, there we go. All right, so it's kind of like a little molded foot scrub. So I'm guessing maybe it's I'm not sure if it's solid or not. Oh, I'm gonna check it out here, guys. Oh, okay, no. So it is kind of like a, just like a gooey scrub. But it smells amazing. Oh, that cherry. It does, it smells like a cherry bomb. It smells so good. All right, put that down here. Ooh, okay. So this is cute. We have a little set of bottles with a little lollipop ornament around them. That is really cute. Such a unique touch. So it looks like we have some strawberry lime body dew and jelly slugs body wash. Okay. So I'm not sure what body dew is. I'm guessing it's some sort of moisturizing oil do I'm not really sure I mean it has some aloe vera in it I'll have to read the cheat sheet but it looks like it does have a little bit of shimmer in it so that's cool sorry for all the crinkles all right so yeah we have strawberry lime body do and the jelly slugs body wash they're nice kind of travel sizes too let me shake them up a little bit here so you can kind of see the consistency so yeah the body wash has like a really nice shimmer to it and then you have the body do it does have some like shimmer and glitter in it as well as you can see there and a little bit of sparkle to it so that would be really nice I can't really smell them through but they are very full so I'm going to wait to open these um, and sniff them but it looks like maybe this one will be kind of like a candy-ish smell and then strawberry lime obviously I'm not sure what jelly slug scent is so I'm interested to smell that all right so it looks like we have another item here that's in a little bottle so this is Amortentia love potion tea all right so we have a love potion tea so, all right so this has Oh, it has a little note, antidote note on the top. That is so cute. Um, and it says, Love Potion Tea, Black Tea. I'm guessing it says Blueberry, Strawberry, Currant, Elderberry, and I can't read the rest. I'm very bad at reading scripty cursive. But... It smells really good and it looks so cute. Definitely a cute item. 
get. All right, so of course, we have another little cute Honey Dukes ornament. So cute. Uh, so this just kind of has the little Honey Dukes um, lollipop type thing in there and some confetti and it's just a little cute packaging. All right, and no Honey Dukes box would be complete without something chocolate frog because of course. Um, I think that is everything. It looks like the rest is just packing peanuts. So I'm gonna put that down there. Um, fun fact though, I do not like chocolate. Um, I don't mind the smell, but I don't actually like to eat chocolate things. Like I don't like brownies, I don't like cocoa, I don't, I just don't like chocolate. I'm weird. Um, but I love chocolate frog and the aesthetic and everything. So let us, let's see what is in here. Ta-da! So it is a little chocolate frog and it even has a chocolate frog card. All right, so it says chocolate frog oatmeal soap. That is so cool. And it is actually formed in a chocolate frog shape. And I got, let's see what card I got. It is stuck in the bottom. Come on. It looks like I have Ollivander. Let me see if I can get it out. There we go. All right, so I got Garrick Ollivander. And this is an actual like card that you would get when you buy a chocolate frog to eat either at the parks or um, yeah, that is awesome. So Garrick Ollivander, proprietor of Ollivander's, maker of fine wands since 382 BC. Ollivander believed that the best wands had cores of powerful magical substances expertly enclosed in specially selected and complementary wand woods. Very cute detail. I was not expecting to actually get a card. Um, but yeah, it's a little soap. How cute is that? That would look so cute in the bathroom in a little, little dish. Very cute. All right, such good detail in this. I have to say, I think my favorite item from this box, it's got to be a tie between the coconut face mist and I'm really interested in trying um, the body cream. I think it is gonna smell so good, or on me. <laughs> it's gonna feel nice too because her creams, Aziz creams are the best. I had the uh, lemon one from the Weasley box and I went through it so fast because I loved it so much. Um, but yeah, so I think these have got to be my two favorite items. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, hit the comments up down below for what item you think sounds the most intriguing that you would love to try. Uh, yeah, and let me know if you have gotten an Alchemy for the Skin box too and uh, what your favorite items are that um, Z makes. And I will be unboxing a few more Alchemy for the Skin boxes. I have ordered um, the Bellatrix makeup box, so I'm intrigued to try those as well. And um, I have sort of partnered up with Alchemy for the Skin because I uh, am designing some pins for her boxes. So if you haven't checked out um, either her Instagram or mine, I did preview and she did as well the first pin for that's going to be in the Pettigrew's Potion, the Halloween themed box. So make sure you head on over and check that out. Um, but yeah, so we've kind of partnered up to make some exclusive pins. Um, there's going to be eight total in the collection. So the first one will be a Halloween themed pin. Uh, so I'm excited about that. So thanks for unboxing this with me and let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.